Well, it's an exciting day for all here at the Renaissance Fair jousting meet, wouldn't you say, Tom? Diane, I'd say it was a perfect day if you weren't reminding us all of our grandmother's cleavage. Now let's go live to the field where the Black Knight is preparing to challenge his next opponent. Hey, how you doing there, big guy? You holding up all right? You want a soda? Hmm? Oh, screw it, I tried. The Black Knight's next challenger will be Sir Mort Goldman. Oh, God, I forfeit! Well, that's it, folks. It looks like the Black Knight is out of challengers and is once again undefeated. Hey, what's your fat ass doing here? He's my only means of conveyance. But I guess I do spoil him. Clearly you do. And what are you doing here, Griffin? I thought I told you never to show your face here again. Hey, we're just watching, all right? I don't want any trouble. Well, you got trouble if you don't beat it. Listen, buddy. Uh... I said get lost. Where's he going? Dad! Let him go, kids. You see that, kids? Your father's nothing but a fizzle! Nobody calls me a fizzle and gets away with it. Except that one guy who called me a fizzle and, and then ran off. He got away with it. But most people who call me a fizzle don't get away with it. Well, actually, that, that guy who got away with it was the only one who ever called me a fizzle. After today, only half the people who ever called me a fizzle will have gotten away with it. It appears a new challenger has entered the field. The crowd has fallen deathly ill. Silent, sorry. Oh my god, I'm gonna die! Oh, uh, uh, to the owner of a yellow Hyundai, your car is being towed. What?! going, Dad. Oh, boy, that was lucky about the car, huh? Take that, you bastard! Nobody makes a fool out of Mort Goldman! Spectacular performance, maggot! How'd you like to come on the road with us as our lead jouster? Thanks, but no thanks, Coach. I've lived my dream. And besides, my life is here with my family. Well, Mom, what's Dad gonna do for a job? Oh, it'll be okay, Chris. Remember that episode of The Honeymooners when Ralph lost his job, but at the end of the show, he didn't get it back? Oh, yeah, what was up with that? That, that bugged the crap out of me. 